looking around this room here this morning, Barry would be so proud to see the seven of you are here to honour him. It expresses the respect that all of us had, and we do miss him so very much. It will be sorely missed. Barry's last two months at Elizabeth Lodge were quite extraordinary. The manager said to me on two occasions, I can't believe the number of visitors your brother is having. He's had more visitors last week than the entire lodge has in the last three months. He said, I'm, actually, I'm very, uh, quite concerned about uh, his health. And I said, Barry really <coughs> fully understands his situation. And, the, and also all his visitors that are turning up are fully aware too, and they're just there for his love and support. Seventy years ago, no, before I go on with that, when Barry passed away on the 1st of uh, January this year, the management and the entire nursing staff formed a guard of honour as he was slowly wheeled out of the premises. I thought it was an extremely moving, moving moment and a wonderful tribute to a fantastic man. Almost 70 years ago now, it's extraordinary. We were sitting around the dining room table and Barry was in a particularly morose and foul mood. <laughs> he had a huge fight with his best friend down the street. My mother said to my sister, my brother and myself while we were sitting around the table, she said, in life, she said, you're gonna have many friends and friendships. Friendships will last, some will last and some won't. The most important thing is the important ones will always be there. If you can honestly say at the end of your time that you have one true friend, one that supports you through all adversity, through, in, uh, uh, say, excuse me, unconditionally, and is there in full support, you are indeed a very rich man or woman. Barry played football with Eastern Suburbs for, for two or three seasons until he was finally coerced to go to Sydney University. This was an enormous change for Barry. He reconnected with Paul, Paul Darbanese, who he was in school with, and also Jim Roxburgh, who were major influences on Barry during this time, as were their two beautiful wives, and, and Carolyn much later on. The most important thing, when I look back, it was actually on Barry's wedding day to Irina. And I was looking around at the reception when it was held down at the Vanderbilt's place. And I saw Barry in a huddle there with Jack Middleton, Michael and Peter Collette. And they had their arms around each other and I thought, these young men from sixth form, right through, from sixth class, right through to the leaving certificate, their teenage years, their tertiary years, their young adulthood, finally into business, they were still as tight and as strong as ever, and close. Fifty years on, those four men were still at this extraordinary friendship. And I thought, back to those words that my mother said regarding friends. When Barry did go to uh, Sydney University to play football with Roxburgh and, uh, and Paul, it was an incredible time for him, but the most important time was the friendships that he did form. Another emotional time for Barry was the rugby team just before, during and after the rugby tour of South Africa in 69. I'm not going to elaborate on this because the speakers after me who were there are far better informed. But what I will say is that the friendships formed between those seven magnificent young, principal young men are forever and will always be everlasting. Again, I thought, thought back uh, 70 years ago with my mother and talking about the friendships. My brother mightn't have been a rich man in a monetary sense, but he was an enormously rich man with the friends that he made. Thank you.